in this tutorial we will be learning about non functional testing so let us see what is non functional testing it is easy to understand non functional testing once you know what exactly is functional testing functional testing is testing of software application in order to check whether all the functionalities or some of the functionalities of applications are working fine or not and if there is any bug found in the application it is subjected to rectification so we may say that it is related to checking functionality of application but there are several other parameters also that needs to be checked such as performance usability reliability etc that we need to check in application these parameters are not checked and addressed in functional testing now for understanding clearly we can take some example of we can take example of one non functional test case that may be like to check how many people can simultaneously log on to a software this is an example of non functional testing and non functional testing is also part of also as important as functional testing which we can which can cover parameters that can directly be related to client satisfaction and performance of application in various ways now let us see some of the types of non functional testing they are given as below first type is security it is very important type of testing which determines how our, how our system is protected against vulnerability attacks it is done to keep our system protected this is done with the help of security testing or we can say this is done by security testing next comes reliability testing so first of all we should understand what is reliability we can Uh, reli uh, define reliability as means it may be defined as ability of software application to continuously perform for longer duration of time without failure this is done by this type of checking is done by reliability testing next comes recovery recovery may be defined as ability of software application or system to recover from failure and migrate to disaster infrastructure in case of any system failure and this is done by recovery testing now next comes availability it may be defined as ability of system to resist failure and also defines the dependency level to which user can depend on the system during its operation so this is done by availability testing or also we can say that it it is done by stability testing or availability testing next comes usability usability may be defined as how much user friendly the software application is when it comes to interaction with that software application this is done by usability testing which checks how much usable the software is now next comes scalability testing 
it may be defined as ability of software application to scale its processing capacity in order to meet increase in demand so this is checked by scalability testing next comes interoperability it may be defined as ability of software system to work in coordination with other software systems so this is verified by interoperability testing next come efficiency it may be defined as ability of software system to handle capacity quantity and response time properly that whether the system is able to handle capacity quantity and response time properly or not this is defined as efficiency next comes flexibility it may be defined as ability with which application can work with different hardware and software configurations like minimum ram and cpu requirement next example is portability this defines ability it may be defined as ability of software application to work in different software environment next comes reusability it may be defined as ability of software system that can be converted for use in other application types of software testing in general there are three testing types functional non functional and maintenance these are types of software testing and in this tutorial we are seeing non functional testing now we are seeing since we are seeing non functional testing so now that we have seen list of some of the non performance testing but now what we have seen is not complete list of non functional testing it may consist of more than 100 types of testing but these are the main types of non functional testing what we have mentioned above it all depends upon the scope of project so let us see some of the most common types of non functional testing we are just mentioning name only just to show how much how many types of Uh, just to show some more types of non functional testing performance testing load testing fail over testing compatibility testing usability testing stress testing maintainability testing scalability testing volume testing security testing disaster recovery testing compliance testing portability testing efficiency testing reliability testing baseline testing endurance testing documentation testing recovery testing internationalization testing localization testing so these are some of the types of non functional testing although the list is many more but these are some of the well known types of non functional testing let us see some of the example test cases of non functional testing some of them are given as below first is application home page loading time should not be more than 5 seconds for up to 1000 users 
accessing it simultaneously so this is test case and this is example of performance testing test case which is non functional testing type now we see now let us see second test case software should be installable on all version of windows and linux it is example of compatibility compatibility testing test case we know that compatibility testing comes under non functional testing let us see third part that all web pages should have all tags alt tags generally it is related to html those who know html should know what is alt tag so this is example of accessibility testing test case accessibility testing means this some of the testing is done to check whether the parameter that is set globally is for being followed or not so these are some of the test cases of non functional testing so in this tutorial we saw different types of non functional testing we also saw how much important they are since it includes various types of testing uh, we should understand it properly because they generally form good part of interview questions testing interview questions thank you